Um, so I saw on social media, of course, again, <laughs> the, the social media, man, it's it's crazy. Yeah. But um, I saw that you uh, you enjoyed the fights up close and personal. The fight. Guess who I ran into? Derek Chisora. And, and? At the fight. Stop the Lisi Ray. What y'all doing? It's okay. So. Okay. You got me? Am I going to have to come get you back? So I don't know if people, I know people know who the English fans will love this. Derek Chisora is the, so remember, get down, get down, get down. So the um Derek Chisora is the one when I was at the press conference in London. Oh remember, yes, that's Derek, that's Derek Chisora. Yes. And I was walking, and I was like, and he was like, "What's up, bro? Remember?" That? I was like, "Yeah, hey, motherfucker, you wanted to fight me at the press conference." And he was just like laughing and stuff, and you know that's that's somebody I saw at the fight and shit. Like, I like, "What's up, bro? How you doing?" And all that shit. So. So it could be one thing, you know, like maybe that's more or less for show then, like entertainment. And then, of yeah, course, when you guys so, yeah. run into each other, there was nothing but respect, and it was yeah, just he, cool. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, see, I didn't see him or nothing like that. But he tapped me. He was like, "Remember me?" I was like, "Hey, yeah, motherfucker, you was trying to fight me? At my, <laughs> you was trying to fight me at the fucking press conference? Yeah, I remember you." I was like, "What's up, bro?" He was smiling. She, "What's up, bro? How you doing?" All that shit. So yeah, I saw him at the fight and shit like that, but bro. Like the fa the the fight was fucking spectacular. It's amazing. You know, this is historical. You know, this this Tyson Fury stuff is like historical right now. This is a historical fight, and I'm glad. Like. You know, I was there. You know, this is like the um maybe I might be stretching a little bit, or maybe not. But like I think Tyson Fury is maybe could be potentially this generation's Muhammad Ali. I think he could be Tyson Fury. Just like And you're wearing Fury. Muhammad right now. <laughs> exactly. Like if you look at the career, I, I'm pretty sure I bet you Bob Aaron gonna say this. But I'm like just with the charisma, you know, just with the skills, how he's a fucking 6'9", 240, 50 pounds, some shit like that. And he can move like he moves like like I think he is, you know, like what he had the crowd, how he had the crowd, like it was just it was definitely special, you know, and like the English fans, like they listen, they was fucking rowdy and like I love the English fans. As far as boxing wise, I love them. Like they they all remember me, all of them was fucking coming up to me and you know how much they respect me and all that shit. Most of them telling me, you know, I, I really want to fight against y'all. They was like, man, you run that fight, man. A lot of dudes, man, you, I'm Irish, man. You really won that fight. Some Scottish, I'm Scottish, I'm Scottish, and you really won that fight and all that. Come back, I can't wait till you come back and stuff like that. So, but like, I fucking, like, as far as this boxing, like, this boxing, this boxing goes, like, I love the fucking, like, I love the English fans. Like, they, they, like, they just serious about it, you know? It was more English fans in there than anybody else. Same thing with Andy Joshua when we fought um, Andrew Ruiz. It was more English fans in the, in Madison Square Garden than anybody else, you know? And man, the, the MGM, same thing. It was just... So you just feel that the, their support and factor is just... from fucking England. Yeah. To Vegas, you know how far that is? And it was more, it was more well, English Well, boxing fans. there is, is boxing more like how, mean. I want to say maybe how, like... basketball is Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She got me. I'm going to get you. You'll see. I'll flip you upside down, too. Um, Stop, please. All right. Um, so, so, so it was an incredible atmosphere then, to say the yeah. least. Like you were saying, you yeah. just feel so like this is something for, for history. To Come on. Are you scared, dog? Come on. That is a little dog. Are you scared of Um. So... So what, like, what were your thoughts? Because I, I'd seen, and including myself, I interviewed you, and you were very adamant. You, you're like, that's something that you did learn while you're over there with Josh Taylor. You're like, a lot of people did like me, a lot of people did respect me, but they stick with their own, and yeah. and you kept well, saying really, that. The thing is, like, before the fight, of course, like I was, of course, I was a weight fighter, but I didn't feel like a weight fighter, you know, because they, you know, shout out to my PR. She, you know, Mel, she had, a, she did a fantastic job for me. She had me on every platform out there, Sky Sports and all that. They had me on all kinds of stuff out there. Um, and like I didn't feel like the the away fight. I didn't feel like the home fighter, but I didn't feel like the away fight either because they embraced me so much. And but after the fight, like they just loved me. Like still, they remember that still right now when I was at the in Vegas at the Fury fight, they all was just you know coming up to me, embracing me. Like when I walked out from the thing, they all just like ramshacked me. Like I was you know I don't know like one of them basically yeah, you know family. They ramshacked me. Yeah, yeah. basically and they. They really appreciate like boxing. That's what they do. They really like over there. They really appreciate. Boxing. I got my owner. She's she's over there. She's scared of fucking dogs. <laughs> that dog right there. Yeah. Um. So so with that being said though, um, you you were adamant on on sticking to our the, our American fighter versus you know Fury. You're like, yeah, no, he's a great fighter, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with I my stick our boy with my, here. You gotta do that. Like, why won't you stick with your? You know, like I mean. 
I always think with your home fighter. Like, of course. No, no. I, I thought that yeah, was very you know, admirable that you said that. A lot, it's, it's just like a lot of people don't, you know. Like, I think I always thought, you know, and not just saying, not just saying I'm just going to stick with my home fighter just because he's a home fighter, but he's a fucking, he was the, like, heavyweight champion in the world. Undefeated. You know? Like, undefeated heavyweight champion in the world. All Like, the most knockouts, like, in, in history or something like that. You know, he had the highest percentage heavyweight knockouts in history or whatever. So why wouldn't you stick with your own? Now, because of course, congrats to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, he demolished him, you know? Like, you can definitely admit that. He can't, you can't say I admit it. He, it's just a fact, like, he demolished Deontay Wilder. He, I think he really hurt him and stuff like that. How did the, um, how was the crowd's reaction? It was fucking crazy. Like, well, you were there, did you, was it, it was gasping? Was it, wild. I know it you was, said there was more Tyson Fury fans, it seemed like. Yeah, but it was fucking wild. Like, the English fans just was like, but from the opening bell, Tyson Fury dominated from the opening bell. It wasn't like it was going back and forth. Deontay Wilder landed a few right hands and stuff like that, maybe like two or three good right hands. But from the opening bell, Tyson Fury dominated, and the fans just there was fucking going crazy. It was so rowdy. You know? Well, given that you said you've kind of been away from social media, you probably don't see what he released about the reason why he feels that he may have lost the fight. What did he say? His costume was too heavy, and it weakened his legs. I mean, listen, you you never want to, like, as an athlete, as a fighter, you never want to give an excuse, right? You never do. It's just like, there's some things that you be like, fuck, you, you, you don't want to give an excuse. But then when like, you even move, when you're sick. Exactly. Some of you guys won't even ever tell, the, like, the, the media exactly. that you, you guys were sick. You never want to give an excuse. Because, but you got to think, if he would have won, his costume would have been too heavy, right? But, you know, Ray, chill with it. But... He lost, and then when you, the same, so me, I know, you know, I know now, like, when you lose, it's just like, at least see what you're doing. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? She looks so cute, though. You going to sleep? All right, go to sleep. In the same. Watch her, though. So, it's just like, like I said, like, when you, when you lose, it's just like, you think of all kinds of things, like, oh, what, this What could you have done better, what, or, what yeah. What could you have done better, you know, so, I mean... Listen, he wants know. that rematch, so that, anyways, that that's that's the moral of the story. Is he's he's aiming for that rematch? Maybe Wilder. he don't wear uh, a heavy costume this time. I don't know, no, but yeah, maybe he don't wear a fucking heavy costume. Again, but I, I just think like, how do you think he looked overall, though? Do you believe he if like shit. he did look like shit? Don't get me wrong, he looked like shit. But Deontay Wilder never really looks like. He just has he has the equalizer, you know. He he always is confident to what when he lands that punch is gonna you know but he didn't look like himself if that was the case if you want to say that he didn't he didn't for me he didn't look like himself he didn't look like you know just he looked wobbly and stuff he, he he already does have like little skinny legs and stuff like that so he did look like that but i don't know i think it was you know sometime it's day night it was tyson fury night it's his time right now you know now in the rematch we'll see if he can do anything different but Saturday night was that was his night. That's that's just it. You know, costume or not, that was it was his night. Can't do nothing about it. Sometimes it's, it's already written. It's already written in, in, in the in the in the sky already. What's supposed to happen? That was his night. It's it's funny. yeah. No, I agree. I'm sorry. It's just funny how like kids that aren't yours, mine, or whatever, how they just randomly walk, well, be walking. Hey, what's up? <laughs> the ones that creeped up behind us right yeah, here. I was like, I was like, oh, I don't know you. Right. Um, well, yeah, no, uh, I can only imagine, like, coming from your past experience, mm -hmm. you know, you also yourself, you were undefeated. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I saw you probably maybe a week after, and you managed maintaining, like, a really positive perspective. Yeah, of course. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you train as hard as you can. And, you know, win, lose, or draw, I like guess it's, it's boxing. It's a sport. You know, it's not It's not who defines, what I am, like, defines me. You know, like, this is what defines my kids and all that shit. Like, and, and still, that, so that stuff doesn't define me. In mine, and, and for me, like I said, most people thought, like, you know, most people still say that I they thought I won the fight, that if it was here, maybe i get the nod. I don't know, but you can't, I mean, I don't even care about this stuff. I don't even care about like, now you got your you got your fight coming up now in yeah, April. It's gone. Yeah, like, for moving me, it's on. Done. It was his time for me. It was it was Josh Taylor's time. That's it. You know, it's done. There's nothing else you can do about it. You know, yeah, she just keep jumping. The I know, but she looks so cute when she does that because she lands with like, oh, I'm, I'm sleeping. Um, yeah, no. What would your like um, advice maybe like to somebody like Wilder right now? Oh, I don't, like, 
just, I mean, first off, you know, like, I think he took a beat. I think he really got hurt in that fight. Um, he, like I said, he didn't look the same. I don't think he really looked the same. Um, but he took so a something beat. was he, off. I think something was off, but still, even if something was on, it was Tyson's Fury's night. What, Ray? Oh, no, like all right, all right. What I can't, I can't do nothing about it right now. Watch out. Get a nerve master later. So. The lady said, ah, say that. <laughs> so, like I said, even though, even, like, I think, like, Deontay Wilder, he was a little off, but even if he was on, I just think that was Tyson Fury's night. Like, it's just his time. That was it. Like, like I said, some things are just written already, and you can't do nothing about it. It was, it was his time, you know. He was, he was so confident going into the fight. We were seeing him on the big screens in a dressing room before the fight, and Deontay Wilder was walking around pacing and getting stretched out and stuff. Tyson Fury is in the dress room playing, playing around, like act like he dancing, fucking around and stuff like that. Like he was so confident. That was his night. You can't take it's something that you you can't take it away from. Him. It was his night. You know, maybe Deontay Wilder come back and have his nights again. But like Saturday night, that was it was just Tyson Fury night. No matter what, no matter how he looked, no matter how Deontay Wilder looked and perform, I just think that it was his night. That's he came out from the opening bell. He did what he was supposed to do. It definitely shocked me and it shocked the rest of the world that you know that that he did that. You know. Um, that especially that he knocked him out like that, like that, that was shocking. So, if my, you know, my advice to, you know, why to just chill out, you know, you made fucking 30, 40 million dollars, chill out, <laughs> chill out for a while. Take go, a break, take, take a breather. A good, a good, good break, you know, he got, you know, he got beat on. Take a real good break, take a good vacation, go with your family, do what you gotta do, and just chill, you know, chill out and, um, just get back to drum boy. You know, everybody lose. Like that's just how it is. It's only, you know, I mean, besides, you know, the legends, besides like Rocky Marciano and Floyd Mayweather, you know, everybody lost. You know, so it just you gotta know how to get back to the drum boy. All my all my idols lost, you know. All of them. All my idols lost, you know. So it's just, you know, get back to drum boy, get back on, do what you gotta do, and come back strong, basically.